Hello everyone, Pixwitch here. Welcome back to my Belladonna Cove Let's Play series. Last time we finished a round of the Coriel family and today we are visiting the Clevelands. Jason Cleveland married up when he tied the knot of Marissa Rutherford. Their backgrounds were vastly different but their desires were similar. To be wealthy and to remain wealthy. For Marissa that means having plans A to Z. Her husband climbing up the ranks in law enforcement? Check. Her son, Justin, having an after-school job that will teach him integrity? Check. Conceiving a baby, another heir? Check. Justin not going to university? That was not part of the plan. Jason and Marissa always said that a privileged status should never be taken for granted, and Justin utterly disappointed them. He was given the boot, and Jason and Marissa focused on the youngest child and each other, which resulted in a pregnancy Marissa hadn't been planning for. The Clevelands are currently financially comfortable, but with only Jason working, will they be able to maintain their lifestyle and give their toddler and unborn baby the very best that money can buy? Now let's take a look at what the Cleveland family did in the previous round. Marissa and Jason tried for a baby and it reignited their long dormant romance. They expected Justin to enroll in university, but he didn't. He didn't even apply. He instead had been hanging out with Tara Dupa too and his parents had been busy with other things. Exercising and building skill points or cooking and sleeping. The moment Justin became an adult, he quit the military job Marissa had forced him to take. In response, Marissa and Jason kicked Justin out and told him to face the real world alone. Jason focused on his work and soon became Valadonna Cove's leading detective. Marissa gave birth to Sophie and soon after that, she realized she was pregnant with a third child. It's 6 in the morning and Jason will have to go to work today, but then now everyone is simply watching TV, just relaxing. Now, before I start the day, I want to talk about Marissa's lifetime want. I changed her lifetime want. It was originally about, well, crime being the criminal mastermind now. But I was thinking about Marissa's story. What would she want to do? Marissa came from a wealthy family, but at the moment her family is simply comfortable. She feels that her kids won't have much of an inheritance. They won't be able to inherit wealth the same way that she and Jeff did. Marissa has never worked. She's controlling, so she would need to be the boss. She was content running her household. And last season, when she could have chosen between a job in the law field or a baby, she chose a baby. Back then, in the previous season, I would say that she wasn't ready to leave her gilded tower. She now has a toddler and a baby on the way. So Marissa, she wants to own a few businesses just so that she can fill the coffers once again. She does have a high interest in work so she'll accept that running businesses is something that she has to do for her family's future, her family's wealth. I do have a few ideas for her businesses but we're going to explore that possibly in the next episode or the last episode in the round. But I'm also thinking thinking that when Marissa has the grand opening of her first business then she's going to convince Carlos Contender to show up for publicity. And then there's Jason, I want to go and turn his stink turn on. So Jason has a high interest in paranormal, 8 points in that, in work, 8 points in that as well, and then 7 points in travel. He also really really loves food but his other turn on is a really great cook. So I'm thinking that for his turn on I am going to change it to travel. Marissa also also has travel for a turn on so they will have that in common. For interest she has 6 points in travel and then for his turn off his one true hobby is sports and he really likes working out so I think I'm going to change his turn off to fatness and then I'm going to accept this. Jason also has ones for Marissa so they are going to go and chat. The couple is going to arrive soon. And then now Jason wants to buy a stereo costing at least 2000 electronic entertainment costing at least 1500 and then he also wants to go and flirt with her so he is going to caress her little Sophie wants to learn to talk and walk and the usual toddler skills oh look at that oh look at that and then later we'll see what Jason and Marissa can do about their wants for each other Jason will want to go and exercise when he gets home and then little Sophie, how is she? She just needs to go and use the potty and then she can play a little bit. 
or we could go and work on her while talking. Also, we'll see if she'll roll in new ones for Justin and then also for Jeff. See if we can explore, well, the relationships between mother and son and then sister and brother. And it is time for Marissa to get up. Little Sophie is wide awake, but she's first gonna go and use the bathroom. Now, as you can see, I also changed the apartment a little bit, added more detailing, changed the floor, wallpapers. And then I also gave Marissa the violin because her one true hobby is music and dance. And I also would like to explore her hobby of music and dance with her businesses. So let's go and dress little Sophie for the day. And then when is Jason coming home now? Okay, girl, he's coming home soon because, yeah, Marissa, Marissa needs to eat, she needs to have some fun. And then she can actually just put little Sophie down and then she needs to go and get some leftovers. Oh, she's gonna go and play. I wanna see who's at the door. Oh my god, I wouldn't have expected this. Justin is here. Justin is here to visit his mom. She actually should have changed her clothes, but anyway. I guess Marissa is happy to see him. Oh, So, go and give him a hug. A part of her did miss him. And then I think she's also going to go and feed him as well, so everyone can come inside. Oh, Justin, look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so they're gonna come inside and then Jason wants to work out he's gonna go and do that. He does need to go and increase his enthusiasm and then he can go and jog, basically. So Marissa and Jason did give Justin a boot, but she still loves Justin, she still cares for him, and then now Jason can go jogging. But Marissa still loves her son and then she wants to know, is he okay? But right now Marissa doesn't have that much to say to him. And then I was like, well, she's really happy to see him. Well, I guess we can see what... Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. So something about injury and weather. Maybe she's telling him to... Well, keep healthy. Don't stay outside in the sun for too long. But they are disagreeing about that. So Justin is maybe like... Stop meddling. Stop telling me what to do. So Jason can go and jog once again, but he lost that one. He does want to reach level body level 7. But I think... What else can he do? He can go and shower and then go and interact with his son. Marissa's watching TV. She walks away from Justin, but I'm sending her to the bathroom now. And Justin decided to just leave the apartment. I'm pretty sure he's going to one of the hot tubs out in the back, but I'm simply going to say that he got annoyed at his mom, so he decided to go, well, just leave. So Jason, I feel, won't, didn't get the opportunity to go and speak of Justin. Maybe he'll call him up later. So Jason is going to go and kiss Marissa's hand. And then after that, he's going to go and ask her, how is Justin? But he, all of his wants are about spending money. And we don't want to go and spend money at the moment. Marissa's going to go and sleep. She is tired, but she also needs to go and eat and have some fun and so on, the usual. Also, I need to figure out what is Jason's story going to be. He does want to go and earn a lot of money. And then also because he's in law enforcement, so I feel he would want to be the top cop. But for him to earn a lot of money, I think he would have to help Marissa with the businesses. And also, I feel they... He will go and help her out of that because they have similar interests. They want to, well, they want to be wealthy and stay wealthy, basically. Jason's spending some time with little Sophie and as you can see, her one true hobby is fitness now. So I guess she can play a lot of sports with her dad, go to the gym with her dad and so on. That is something that they can bond about. But then about Jason and his story, I'm not so sure what his story is going to be outside becoming the top cop, outside becoming really rich. Jason is going to go and call up Justin, and then Marissa gained enthusiasm in cuisine. So Justin, there he is, and then we are just going to go and talk to him, ask him how he is doing. 
Oh, Jason is talking about little Sophie. That maybe, maybe he says that Justin should come around to spend some time with his little sister. But Jason is yawning. Maybe Justin tried to change the topic. Talking about a movie he saw. Jason doesn't. He's not really interested in in movies. He wants to be productive. If only his son would take things more seriously, so we could go and say that he feels that watching a movie is a waste of time, something like that. Is Marissa able to talk? I think this lady is the hobby instructor for the secret lot for cuisine. I guess. Let's go and see what she wants. Hello, you have been selected to try out our new magazine. Would you like to subscribe to the cuisine magazine? Marissa does have seven points in food. Jason has nine points in food. So I guess we can go and subscribe to that. It's nearly midnight, but Marissa needs some fun, so she's gonna just practice a little bit. Jason is drinking some coffee downstairs. He does need to go and sleep, but I think Marissa needs more, well, needs this more than he needs to go and sleep right now. But he's gonna go and enjoy his coffee, and then after Marissa's done with the session, and then he'll go to bed. So I am excited to explore her music and dance, one true hobby through this, her violin, but also her businesses. We haven't been able to focus on her toddler skills. We will get this one, but then the talking and the walking. I think if Marissa... Well, if Marissa didn't get pregnant again, then she would have been able to focus on little Sophie, but she just can't. But we'll have to see what Jason can do. He does have a day off on Monday and Tuesday, so we can see what, what Jason can do. She will go and age up in three days, though. So this is going to be interesting for Jason and Marissa. Little Sophie's wide awake, but they're both exhausted. Jason has to go and sleep. He has work in the morning. We could go and get them a better, well, coffee machine. I think things are going to be a little hectic for them. A baby and a toddler. We will see what will happen with this little family, or with Justin. We'll see if Jeff comes around. But everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. So until then, take care. Pixel Witch out.